animals do not communicate the same way that humans do, but it's just as necessary for the animals to survive. Communication helps animals to do things like attract mates, warn off predators, mark their territory, and identify themselves to other animals. There are four types of animal communication. Visual communication, auditory communication, tactile communication, and chemical communication. Let's start with visual communication. There are two types of visual communication. The first type of visual communication is the color and shape of the animal itself. This is called the badge. The second type of visual communication describes the things that the animal does to communicate, including behavior. This is called the display. Look at the deep sea jellyfish, for example. It communicates by giving a stunning display of colors. The Australian frill-necked lizard is another example. When it's frightened, it opens its mouth and unfolds its frill. This makes the lizard look large to its predators. Auditory communication refers to hearing and describes the sounds that animals use to talk to each other. Sound is good because it can travel over long distances, whether it be day or night. It's an adaptable signal meaning animals can change the volume of the sound depending on the conditions. For example, they may not wish to be located by any predators nearby. Sound can be used to warn about danger or to tell other animals that they are angry, like the loud bark of a guard dog signalling that it is angry and you should stay away, otherwise you may get hurt. Tactile means to touch. Communicating using touch is used in many different ways in the animal kingdom. This mother cat nuzzles her kittens to comfort them. Or these two male deers lock horns and fight to show which is dominant. Animals can communicate chemically through scent and taste. The scents can remain around long after the animal that left it there has moved on. This can be used as a danger warning, signalling other animals to keep them away. Insects like these ants that live in large groups leave different types of smells for different messages, whether it can lead them to a food source or asking for help. <laughs> 